Hey 4K friends, this is Mrs. Andre, and we have a new project to do today. We're going to be making some ornaments in class this week, and normally we would be making these out of clay. So, if you haven't seen my how to make clay video at home yet, feel free to uh, find that. I'll put a link in here as well so we can find that video. But otherwise, you can buy or make your own. Like I said, I am going to be using some Crayola Model Magic Clay so it air dries, which is great. Um, the recipe that I have has flour, cornstarch, salt, and water. And that can also air dry to make an ornament as well. However, that might be a little more fragile though, so you gotta be really careful with those. But let me show you how to roll a chunk of this modeling clay, or your clay dough as I like to call it. So you're gonna need something to squish. Play-doh would work too here, because that will dry pretty hard when you're done. If you had play-doh dry up, you know what I mean. And you're gonna want maybe a rolling pin. If you don't have a rolling pin, you're welcome to use a glass cup or some sort of cup that won't get so sticky um, for rolling. Something that's tube shaped, maybe like an empty container of some sort that you can roll. That will help our clay get nice and flat. And you're going to want to draw, have something to draw in the clay. We use um, needle tools in class because we talk about being safe and not poking, getting poked with this end. You could use a pencil, you could use a fork, you could use a lot of things to draw into your clay dough. Right. So let me show you how to do that by switching my camera here and showing you how that works. All right. Right now I got this lumpy piece of clay dough and I'm going to kind of just roll it on my desk or your table probably to make it look more like a circle. And I'm just going around and around and around and around and it gets a little bit more like a ball. Okay. It's not perfect, but it's just by rolling it in a circle on your desk. All right. From here. You're going to want your rolling pin and you're going to use it to kind of squish and make it bigger. And we rock this rolling pin back and forth. But if you keep going only one direction, it's going to turn into an oval. So it's helpful to turn your clay or your clay dough and keep rolling. And we just keep kind of turning it in a circle. Now, when you're rolling it, you want it to be a little thick so it's I have something to grab onto, and this is about this about as thick as my finger right now. Um, and that's a pretty good way to like good place to stop. Because if you go super thin, like super super thin, it's more likely to break there. All right, so we want to keep it nice and sturdy. The fun thing about clay is you can kind of squish it back to where it belongs, and it'll be pretty. Maybe that'll help see that white a little bit better. Um, I was telling students in class to draw nice lines. So sometimes I push lines in with my needle tool. Um, sometimes I like doing diagonal lines and I kind of go tap, tap, tap while I draw my lines. We practice drawing lines, okay? Um, you could do wavy lines. For clay dough or modeling clay, it gets a little sticky. So I have to go lots of little taps when I draw my lines. Because if I just draw a line, gets kind of stretchy. So you kind of got to play around with what you got. Okay, maybe you want to draw some circles, some zigzags. Okay, we're just kind of playing with clay and how it works when you draw into it. All right, nothing fancy, but it's kind of fun to capture those first lines that we're learning in school. All right, once you're done, if you like where you're at, you're going to actually poke a hole all the way through, but you got to be very careful to not have your hands in the way. So I will do it flat on my table poke a hole and push it all the way through by wiggling it in the clay. If we were in school right now, Mrs. Fondre would be doing this step because she just wants to make sure everyone's being careful. But we want to leave a nice big hole in there so you have a place to put ribbon or string to hang this on your tree when it's all dry. All right. However, white clay or white modeling dough or your clay dough is a little boring. So when you are finished with making this uh, out of your clay dough or your, uh, or your play dough or whatever you have, you are welcome to paint it when it's dry. Um, however, if you try to paint it now, it might get a little gooey and not hold up very well. So you'll have to wait for this to dry, depending on how much water you make this or if you bought it. It might take a couple of days, maybe even a week. So you'll have to check in and gently kind of poke it to see if it squishes some more. Um, if it's thicker, it's going to take a little longer, but that's okay because then it'll be strong when we're all done. All right. Um, I can't wait to see what you come up with. If you could take a picture and put it in the Seesaw app, that would be great. But I'm so excited to start this project with you and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Happy creating!